Hello everyone, I'm Susan Ted and today we're going to explore the fascinating world of plants and their unique features from tiny harps to towarding trees. Plants are incredibly diverse, each adapt to its environment. Let's dive into how we classify them based on their structure, size, life cycle, habitat, and nutrition. Plants are classified into four main group called phyla, biophyta, folicinophyta, coniferophyta, and angiospermophyta. Firstly, biophyta, grow in a damp places. They have a simple body with rhizoid instead of root and no vascular tissue. Examples are moses and liverwort. Second, philocinophyta, like ferns. They grow in a shady areas, have large leaf called fruits. They produce pores and have true vascular tissues. Third, coniferophyta, such as parns and larches. They are mostly found in forests. They grow cones instead of flower and have needle-like leaves. Lastly, angiospermophyta, or called as uh, flowering plants like roses, they are found almost everywhere. They produce seed and enclosed fruits. Now, let's talk about plant classification by size, life cycle, and habitats. Plant classification by size, we have herbaceous plants, shrubs, and trees. Herbaceous plants are small soft stem like sunflower. Shrubs are medium sized with hard woody stem like lemon tree. Trees are large with thick trunks such as mango tree. Plant classification by life cycle, annuals, biennials, perennials. Annuals complete their life cycle within one year such as wheat and rice. Biennials take two years to complete their life cycle such as cabbage and radishes. Perennials live for many years growing and reproducing like rose plants and the banyan tree which live over a hundred years. Let's talk about plant classification by habitats. We have mesophytes, hydrophytes, and xerophytes. Mesophytes like tomatoes grow on land and need a moderate amount of water. Hydrophytes such as water lilies grow in water or very wet areas. Xerophytes like cacti are adapted to dry desert regions. Hi everyone, now let's talk about how plants can be divided into two groups based on how they get their food, which are autotroph and heterotroph. Autotroph make their own food using sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. Examples include all green plants like sunflower and ferns. While heterotroph rely on other plants or animals for food, examples fungi and lichens. Heterotroph can be divided into four groups which are parasites, parasites, saprophytes, symbionts, and insectivorous plants. Parasites are plants like mistletoe that take nutrients from other plants. Saprophytes are like mushrooms that feed on dead and decaying matter. Symbionts are like lichens that live in mutual relationship with other organisms. And lastly, insectivorous plants are like venous fly traps that capture and digest insects. So as you can see, plants are truly amazing in how they adapt to survive in different environments from water, forest to deserts. Whether they are small, soft herbs or twining trees, plants are a vital part of life on Earth. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the incredible plant kingdom. Thank, Thank you. you.